SpaceX's rocket explosion Sunday marks its first mishap during a contracted launch. While it has lost rockets in testing and lost first stages as it developed reusable launchers, this is the first time supplies for the International Space Station have been on the line. Several minutes after launch, the Falcon 9 rocket experienced what SpaceX called an anomaly on ascent, but SpaceX COO Gwen Shotwell says initially the flight went as planned. The first stage flight uh, remained nominal. We do not expect this to have been a first stage issue. Uh, we saw some pressurization indications in the second stage, which we'll be tracking down and, uh, and following up on there. SpaceX now joins an unfortunate club. The last launch of Russia's unmanned progress spacecraft ended with it losing control and burning up before it could deliver its supplies to the ISS. And Orbital Science's Cygnus capsule made it less than a minute into its launch last year before it blew up. The SpaceX rocket was carrying provisions for the ISS crew. A new docking adapter intended for use with future commercial missions and a new spacesuit. While the loss is a setback, NASA's William Gerstenmaier says it's a recoverable one and says critical supplies for the short-term operations are still at acceptable levels. We're in good shape from a food standpoint, from, from a water standpoint. We need to watch a multi-filtration bed that purifies water. There was a replacement bed on this flight and we'll have to watch the water levels. Space News reports food supplies aboard the ISS will enter reserve level July 24th and won't be fully depleted until September. Still, the string of high-profile failures is leading to some murkiness for the immediate future of space travel. A BBC science analyst notes depending on how long it takes engineers to isolate and rectify the cause of the problem, SpaceX's timeline to that first crew launch could also now be set back by many months. Kirsten Meyer says it's too early to speculate on what this might mean for crew programs, but also hints at how this failure could still be useful. But this learning can actually you know, kind of expedite things. We can actually learn from this failure, understand a weakness or a flaw in the design that we might not have seen for a while. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk says more immediate information will come after a thorough analysis. NASA lists Progress Flight 60 as the next launch to the ISS, still on schedule for July 3rd. For Newsy, I'm Leah Becerra.